I'm uh, Kevin Cameron, and our visual feast of the moment is this CBR 600RR Honda cylinder head. This is a four valve per cylinder engine, so with four cylinders it has 16 valves. The intakes on this side, they're slightly larger. The exhausts on this side, they're smaller because of course exhaust gas has pressure to push it out. Intakes have only the atmosphere to push it in. Now I've removed the four valves from this cylinder. How are the valves operated? The valves are operated by a camshaft. This bump here is called a cam lobe. It rides against this, which is called an inverted bucket tappet. Some engines have lever followers. This engine has bucket tappets. It's open on one end, the wear surface is on the other, and it is beautiful and unworn after 25,000 miles, which shows you how wonderful oil is. There is one of these tappets under each cam lobe. As the camshaft revolves, it pushes the tappet and the valve springs and the valve open. So to visualize, put in a valve. There's the valve that's closed. When the camshaft pushes the tappet, the valve opens. To admit a fresh charge of fuel and air to the cylinder. Making sure that the tappet, the valve, the retainer follow the camshaft, each valve has a spring which holds it shut. In this case, there are two springs that are nested together. They sit around the valve in this fashion, and in order to install this, you'll see that there's a little groove there. Tiny little split collets, they're conical, fit into the groove, and there's a conical opening in the top of the retainer so that when the collets are put in place, and this is slid up over them, they're locked to the valve stem so that the pressure of the spring can compel the valve to follow the motion that is ground into this cam lobe. What's quite wonderful is that at peak RPM, each valve is opening and closing 113 times per second. And the whole process of initially lifting the valve, accelerating it towards open, decelerating it to a stop at the top of its lift, and then reversing its motion, it's now being driven towards closed by the spring following the cam lobe, that process takes three thousandths of a second. That's at peak RPM. Because the valves are exposed to combustion heat. These four combustion chambers are where the fuel and air mixture is burned. It's very hot. Consequently, the valves expand as the engine warms up. There therefore has to be some clearance between the tip of the valve, the whole stack of mechanism, and the cam lobe, because otherwise, as the valve expanded, it would force itself open. So when people say, I have to get my valves clearanced, it just means restoring the valve clearance, which is necessary to accommodate the thermal expansion of the valves, having it reset to nominal values. And that is done with these tiny little clearance buttons, little piece of hard steel, ground to a specific thickness. I won't go into the process, but it's very sensible and it's time consuming. Once again, spark plugs located in the center of the chamber. This is ideal because 
it makes the distance that the combustion flame has to travel from the spark plug out to the cylinder wall a minimum in all directions.